Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I got to put up this prayer request. I haven't really felt like doing much today, except I'm trying to work on email. And this is from Morella. You know, I've asked for help, financial help for her and her four children. Okay, well, her uh, ex has the two young ones. They're his kids. The one that can't afford to help her feed the other ones. Well, anyway, moving on. This is not about that. He says, or here's the letter. She says, uh, hi, beloved family. Please pray like never before for Melina and Christian. Those are her two babies. They're like four and three, four and two and a half. I don't know. Maybe they're, maybe she's five and he's three by now. I lose track, you know. I haven't gotten a picture from her. Salvador would take pictures and send them to her, and she'd send them on to me and a few others that she communicates with. It seems like they're probably five and three. Anyway, Salvador said their school requires vaccinations. So I said, don't send them to school like I do with the first. I guess she means her first two, her two boys from her husband that dumped her in Ecuador. And got away with it. The situation makes me so angry. I get so upset with it. She should be here in America getting... Or she could be working. She has a college degree, but she can't find a job down in Ecuador. And she can't work without a green card. That's whatever they call it there, anyway. Please pray the Holy Spirit protects the babies. And gives Salvador energy and resources to keep homeschooling them. It is really tiring for him. Yeah, he's like 60-some years old. He was 65 at least a year ago. He's about my age, but he's been battling cancer. And he's been taking holistic stuff for that because chemo is so expensive. I said, she goes on, but I urged him not to destroy the babies. Come, Lord Jesus, hurry, save the babies. They cannot defend themselves. Please pray for Morella's two youngest children, Melina and Christian. Her baby is Christian. That's his name. Okay, I'll end it here. Thank you for your prayers, everybody. Okay, where's my camera? Up here. I gotta find it. There it is. So now I can shut it off. And please pray for me that I'll get some sleep tonight because I've been healed of a lot of things. I've come off almost every single medication I was prescribed, except I take it. A small dose of a muscle relaxer for my back at night and a half of a blood pressure pill in the morning. That's it. And I want off all of it. But if I don't take something for sleep, I can't sleep. And the over the counter antihistamines are causing my heart palpitations, which that's supposed to be gone from my healing, heart healing, and deliverance. So, uh, actually, yeah, I got prayed for again last week, and I haven't had palpitations since. So maybe tonight I'll try some Benadryl. All right, that's all I have to say for now. I pray for each and every one of you every night. I plead the blood of Jesus over you. Your pets, any other animals you're raising, your vehicles, your dwelling places, inside and outside, and inside if it's a multi-family dwelling. And ask the Lord to keep hedges of protection around you with his guardian warrior angels. I tell him, I believe we all have guardian angels inside with us. 
but I ask you to keep a hedge of protection all the way around the perimeter of their properties made up of the warrior angels. And also an extra hedge of protection made up of the wall of Holy Spirit fire from heaven to completely encapsulate us. 24 7 365 but i pray it every night with that i'll say bye for now brothers and sisters please keep morella and her babies in your prayers come quickly lord jesus